Yo, yo, Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk and some coffee. And some coffee. Good morning. Have a great day, my friends. Thanks for tuning in, supporting the channel, and all that great stuff. Big Bird 928 Clan Fief. <laughs> what does FYYFF stand for? Let me know down below. I like that. Got the veteran tag going on. Tier 6 Hellcat. The Hell Kitty. Two marked. Fantastic. Steps. Also known, correct, Steeps, definitely called Steeps. The new Assault version, we are on defense. We only have 10 minutes to make this happen. He is running cola, delicious, although I don't drink much cola anymore. I had to cut out the, the soft drinks, you know what I mean? It was just like the, those empty calories that uh, I, don't, I don't work out enough right now to, to keep off of the old, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Uh, where were we? Oh, cola. Cola. It's delicious. I try not to drink it. How many gold rounds do we need? All of them? 26. Is that what we're doing here? 160 pen. Okay, that's a lot of gold. And four, four HE. So we're definitely a, a, you know, a little bit towards the tryhard. I don't know. I do know what equipment he has. He's running Binox and oh, Camo Net. Let's see how that works for him. He's got a two marked, so... We'll see how Big Bird works. He sent me a note and said, hey, I worked this area that you talked about. And we're trying to figure out all together and at the same time what's going on with the Steps Assault, right? So I'm trying to give you guys some examples of how the guys are playing it. So we have Binox and a Camel Net. And I'm giving you a little grief for that. But this is a really pretty good tank for that combo. Especially if you can work out a way to use it. Unfortunately, so many tanks or so many maps are phone boosts and even big ones that look big like this turn into be kind of phone boosts based on where the engagements go but we'll see what happens with big bird and he's rocking the camel net and the binox fast tank obviously the hellcat and this is the area this is the reason i wanted to feature this video for you guys or this replay because this is the area i was a little bit a little bit concerned with in terms of being able to push and this is kind of the spot that I was thinking would be absolutely brutal and it looks like we're gonna just start right off by thumping that guy although boy how many times does it feel like that's what happens to all my first shots oh, geez these guys are just they're coming at us there we go so we thumped that guy from 272 Hellcat does some good damage especially in a game like this uh, I didn't mention it but we're top tier folks in tier seven so we got some fours to beat up on we're thumping the kv2 now they've made a big push let's pause this and see what's going on here very interesting we have a couple guys down here in the south looks like the elc that's an interesting spot for them but okay their t67 has moved across to the middle we have a big push coming on the east side and i looking at this map and the way it's set up this was my concern i'm like what is their option there how how do they make that work? How do they get across any of this? Let's zoom it up here. Any of this open area right here without being absolutely shredded by dudes sitting back in these areas, especially with Artie support. I I don't have that answer, folks, because I think there isn't one. Now we're probably going to get spotted doing that because we haven't. Never mind. He's got bad camo or it just worked out i don't or bad spotting okay there goes the, this is what i'm talking about this is an absolute shooting gallery right here <laughs> a little low roll on the kv2 like what's the kv2 he's got a oh what the get them binox <laughs> all right let's look at the spotting range because that is kind of important based on where they are it would be super califragilistic expialidocious if the AMX had got up in this area somewhere. Like, I would say in a, one of these bushes up here. I've, I'd have to take a look at it because I'm not sure exactly where. Maybe there's one up here, but he needs to be a little bit closer. Perhaps this one down here or maybe uh, this dude here to push the spotting range a little further. Because right now, the enemy team can kind of get up on the hill and get a bit closer. You'll notice, obviously, the KV-2 just crossed there. So he did make it. So with eyes a little bit further forward, there's also a BT-7 rolling around in the middle. You might be able to shoot this poor guy. He's what on earth? He has no idea. Don't that get us spotted? It did not. Again, these are low-tier tanks. They don't have great spotting. This poor dude. 
He's like, I just started this game. It's a pretty cool game. Hey, oh, there's a bush. Let me see if I can set up my 2D. I'm an ambusher, right? I'm going to ambush somebody. Why, does, why do I keep getting shot? <laughs> Who sees me? Oh, jeez. Now the Arties. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor Valentine. He's like, let me just hide behind this guy. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> LEF'd. <laughs> not funny that's not I almost made a rage video about the small arties in the game but it was going to end up being much like every rage video about the small arties in the game for the last 10 years so what was the point this guy seems to have some kind of deflector shield on because we've only hit him once I think <laughs> down to 15 shells there's a bit of a limitation of the Hellcat. It is a little bit low on shell count. Especially if you're just sitting back here sniping Lama Ding Dang. There it is. And now the BT-7's making a run. He's like, I'll scout, fellas. Look at that. Okay, so this dude knows where he's being shot from. He's at least smart enough to do that, but he's not smart enough to back up and not get shot again. <laughs> Hellcat gets spotted. Obviously, one of the things you got to watch out for with a Hellcat is Artie. One of those two LEFs starts thumping them, and it can get real ugly real fast. They can also drop shots over these rocks, so he's not exactly... Oh, look where that shot came from. I just saw that. There's an Artie back over there. Looks like he went up on the hill, maybe, or he's firing from... Yeah, there's another shot right there. So they're right in there. Somebody's clicking, saying where it is. That's good. That's good. And they're, they've just shut down this push. Looks like the west side has had the heavies go in. You may have to start thinking about getting in amongst them. Nope, BT-7 is going to bail them out a little bit. There's another Hellcat running around now. The BT-7 is just coming at them. <laughs> Whatever, I just, I don't know. I'm just going to go in and shoot. <laughs> Back up behind the rock. BT-7 made it. Hellcat's moving around. He's in those little bushes there hiding in that hole down spot. And I have to admit, this is kind of what I was expecting to see I don't think you break this. You don't break this camp. I I don't I don't see being able to break this camp. Maybe if you can get a spotter in there, and you've got some arty to knock these guys out of these hills. Blind shots are a player. I would say this guy's gonna walk right to this. Yep. Tried to make a runner, didn't work. There's only a Hellcat and a KV2 over there. Obviously, the KV2 can one shot. Our hero here, Big Bird, so he probably doesn't want to necessarily just walk into him. But I, I would start moving around, Big Bird. And there's only four of them. Yeah, the LAS might get him, but you're going to gather up some spotting more than likely. You've got so many snipers and arties back there. Just push forward. In fact, you could probably just push forward up along this ridge here and maybe get close enough to get some spotting. Then dive down. There's a way to go down and get up underneath them and just proxy light them. Of course, that's going to get you shot by their LEFs more than likely. So that's... Nope, oh, the Hellcat's not even there, so that's even better. Although I suppose I'd rather tangle with a Hellcat than with the KV-2. But if you can make the KV-2 miss or shoot somebody else, you're in there. There you go. He just fired. Yeah, I think I would have been moving a lot sooner. This is something that you'll have to play according to taste, skill, all that stuff. But learning when... Yeah, you don't need a sniper nest. Just go get him. <laughs> Maybe just ignore the KV-2 and go after the Artie. That's another option. So the idea of when to push in, when no kidding, the game is won, and it's time to go gather up as much HP and assist as possible, and who cares if you die? You know, as long as you don't throw away a game, and I've done that, I've made the decision too early, but I would say I would more often make the decision too late than too early. And I just leave hit points and spotting on the table. Yeah, I'd, there's no real reason to go this far back. I guess we're worried about the KB2. I, a lot of times I just challenge guys. I mean, if, <clears throat> if I'm going to zoom across full speed and a KV-2 is going to manage to hit me, then good on him, I guess, at the end of the day. Yeah, that push, if you'd have made that push earlier, I think you'd kill a couple LAFs or at least one. But we're going to go look for that KV-2. He's the last Mohican. I don't know what he's looking at. It's hard to tell if he's actually in the bush or maybe he's back around the corner. He ran into that corner and didn't do anything else. Just come all the way around. And this is Hellcat stuff, right? You want to stay on the edge of the fight, look for those cheeky shots or those sniper shots. Where is that fella? I don't know. Shoot into the bush, see if he's sitting there. 
see if he's sitting there. I think you could probably push up underneath him without any trouble. Just go straight at the, the rock wall from here. So waiting for somebody else to get in there. I don't know why the ELC hasn't done it yet. Now he's finally coming around the corner, so it looks like he's going to finally find this guy. But don't move while the ELC's going in. Stay, stay ready to go. There he is. Oh my gosh, he's over there. Okay. <laughs> Just clipped the back of the turret. Oh, he knows he's in trouble. He's like, well, I don't see what's shooting me. Not really sure why the ELC didn't just go for it. You know, it's interesting how those big guns will make people play like that. Even past the point where it would necessarily matter. He did light him and he was getting the assist. So I guess there was no real reason to go in there. But such a small tank. Maybe he just comes zinging in there and causes that guy to miss. And then he has a heyday shooting him. But each to each their own. Four kills by Big Bird. Nice game. 2,728. I wanted to show that because I thought that was a pretty good illustration of of how that southern fight's going to go right there. I don't know, guys. Uh, we'll see how the meta develops. I feel like the northern push is way better. Especially based on the spawn. You can push straight to the west and kind of get across the open area faster before the south spawn can turn that corner and stop you. In the south, all they have to do is jump over to those hills and stop and you've got a longer drive to kind of come around and then you're coming up the hill and then you're trying to turn this corner and it's just, it ain't happening. So probably my first blush guess is watch this. Maybe some guys in the in the hill or whatever. See if you catch some people being stupid moving around, maybe get some shots. Maybe, you know, some shots into bushes, light guys if you can, but don't make any aggressive pushes. If you could get down here, that'd be great, but you're going to need a fast, lighter tank to do that. And then the main push, the heavies and stuff are going to have to come around from the north. I, th that just seems like the only way to do it. Could be wrong. We'll see how it rolls out. That's all I've got, Big Bird. Thanks for sending me this replay. Appreciate everybody and your support. We will see ya.